Uh, Jimmy Morgan Senior Classic that they have going on here this week. Uh, today they've had uh, middle school games earlier today. They had uh, the girls game a little while ago where Huntington picked up the win over Boyd County. And then also, too, we just wrapped up the JV game between these two teams. Boys game here and then a couple of more um, – a couple of more middle school games to close out the night here for the Jimmy Morgan Senior Classic. So looking forward to bringing it here for you today. Huntington High, they're coming off a victory against Hurricane by a score of 52-46. Matter of fact, they've won two straight. Last time here at home, they got the victory over Cabell Midland. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll tip it off right here on Kindred Digital Sports. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Jillian, I go here to Cabell Midland. I've been twirling kind of forever since I was like five. This summer I went to some baton camps, toured a lot of colleges, architecture program at the University of Cincinnati. I'm the feature twirler for the marching nights, so we work all the time. We're here four, four weeks in the summer, eight to five, so it's a lot of hard work, but it's really worth it whenever you get to perform. Planning for a funeral is never easy, and selecting the right mortuary can be important. Family-owned and operated for over six decades, our family has helped other families going through the most difficult time. Chapman's Mortuary and Crematory can help you plan arrangements today or offer a pre-need funeral plan in line with your intimate wishes. And now, we provide Huntington's only on-site crematory. Call us for a free consultation. Chapman's Mortuary and Crematory, serving the Tri-State for over 60 years. A new day begins, and what happens today must be covered, reported, and passed on to everyone in the region we serve. We are journalists, staff writers, editors, storytellers. Who are we? We are HD Media, trustworthy and always here for the times we live in. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But Marshall Orthopedics, the area's only comprehensive sports medicine practice, is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Orthopedics takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Welcome back, everybody. As we get you ready for tip-off as intros just taking place. The Greenbrier the Green Spartans to our left just getting introduced. They're wearing the black uniforms today with those... Green numerals trend in gold. Huntington High getting introduced to our right starting lineups here for you today for Cabell, excuse me, for Huntington High. Mikey Johnson, the 6'3 sophomore, wears number two. He'll be out there. Also, Malik McNeely wearing number four, the 6'3 sophomore. Montez Tubbs, the 5'11 junior, will be out there. Also, Gavin Locko. Locko, normally wearing 13, decided to change numbers. He wears number three now, the six foot junior. And, uh, Ganell Hickman, number 15, 6'3", senior, will be the starting five here today for Huntington High. For Great Briar East, led by Jared Patton. Zach Patton, the 6-foot sophomore, wears number two. Number three is Adam Seams, as he's the 6-foot junior. Also, uh, Goose Gabert, uh, Gabert will be out there as well, the 6-foot junior, wearing number five. Aaron Griffith, number 10, the 6'2", senior. And Caden Huffman wears number 22. He will be on the floor, the 6-foot junior, for Greenbrier East and the Spartans. They are coming off a loss to Shady Spring the other night for Greenbrier East. Matter of fact, that loss, 66-64. Shady Spring playing some great basketball. Two-point loss there and a loss at Jefferson, 69-57 back last week. Getting set to tip things off here. Glad you're joining us here on Kindred Digital Sports in our high school basketball showcase here at the Jimmy Morgan Senior Classic. Tip controlled by Huntington High. Huntington High in those white uniforms, working from right to left across your screen. Tubbs with it to Locko. Drives in, trying to pull up with a jumper, goes out of bounds, last touch by Huntington High. Green Bar Ace with their first opportunity, full court pressure now by the Highlanders. Seams with the ball. Ten second time has to turn a turnover. So a couple of turnovers to start things off. 
We're just at the 731 mark here in the first quarter. No score. Tubbs will bring it up for the Highlanders. And Hickman will lose it out of bounds. Both teams trying to get their footing here early on in this contest. As Greenbrier gets it across the timeline. Now they'll set up the offense with Aaron Griffith. Up top of the key over to Seams. Seams dribbles around. Gets it over on the far side. Kicks it back in the near side corner. Here's Kaufman with a shot, or Huffman with a shot, no good. Rebound taken down there by Gabert, Goose Gabert. Will go up with it, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Greenbrier East. Got to love the, the name Goose. <laughs> 6.50 on a rolling clock. Here in this first quarter, no score. Tubbs dribbles up, hands it off over to Johnson. He'll drive in, pull up inside the paint off the front of the iron, and the rebound taken down by Greenbrier East. Patton comes out with it. We're at number two on the run. Gets it up quickly to Huffman. Drives in. They've got a foul on the floor. Going to be called against Huntington High. I think this might go against Hickman. It is against Hickman. It's going to be his first team foul, number one. Still no score. Six and a half minute mark here in the first quarter. Patton gets the basketball up, works behind the pick from Griffith. Left side to Huffman, to Griffith over in the corner, back up on the top of the key to Gapert. Dribbles in, back to Gapert, the shot's going to be tipped, and I think Malik Johnson, Mikey Johnson got a hand on that, and he did. Locko brings it up in the front court. No look, passed out of the inside, trying to find Tubbs, goes out of bounds, last touched by Greenbrier East off the hands of Gabert. Tubbs, no look passed out of the inside, finds Johnson, goes up with it, and he's got a, he has it contested with Huffman and didn't get it to go. He pulled down the rebound. Just past the six-minute mark here, looking for the first score in this contest. Drives in, shot no good there by Gapert, and Greenbrier East gets the rebound. The putback no good there by Griffith. And coming out with it for the Highlanders, it will be Johnson. Johnson front court to Locko, back to Johnson. Johnson will drive in, gets it out to the right side. Here's a shot from McNeely, it's good. Three-pointer for him to start things off and Huntington High on top. 3-0 here at the 529 mark. Greenbrier East trying to answer. Seams up in the front court. Drives in against Hickman. Shot no good. Rebound tipped out there by Johnson, but controlled by the Spartans. Trap is on over in the back in the far corner with Patton. He's going to lose the basketball. Possession arrow. Points in favor of Greenbrier East as they get tied up. Spartans with the ball, wearing those black jerseys. Top of the key with it is Griffith. Left side of the Gapert. Working around the perimeter. Zone defense here by, check that, the man-to-man -man defense here by Huntington High. Count is on. Huffman having to pick it up. Gets it up on the top of the key to Patton. Drives in, kicks it over left side. Griffith shot off the mark. Rebound on the weak side. Taken back down there by Patton. Patton takes the dribble back out. Gets it out the seams. He'll reset the offense. Near side, three-point shot taken too strong. Rebound taken down there by Johnson. He wants to run with it. Johnson zigzags his way through, bounces it off the leg, and it's taken away by Greenbrier East, and then turned back over as Huffman trying to get it back over to seams. Goes out of bounds. Substitution coming in now as Monquel Davis checks in. Big three to start things off right there for Malik McNeely, 6'3 sophomore. Here's McNeely now, left side. He'll lay it up as good. McNeely now with all five points for Huntington High. Greenbrier is trying to answer. Right side, and the shot in and out, and the follow-up there by Griffith is good. First points coming at the 359 mark for Greenbrier East. 
Tubbs, front court. He had six points in the win against Hurricane the other night. Leading scorer was Mikey Johnson with 19. Down inside, it is Lucko. He lays it in as good for his first points. Full court pressure now by Huntington High. It's going to pay off. Tubbs gets a hand on it, tips it out to Lucko. Left side to McNeely. He has it stolen away. Coming up front court with it is Gaper. Gets it over to the right side. Over to Davis. He'll drive in. Shot no good, but he does draw the foul on the floor. Jason Buckley, our official, comes over, gives the call. Go against uh, Montez Tubbs, his first. Team foul number two. Substitution's coming up. I got a player with no number, so we'll figure that out. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, tipped out. Mikey Johnson comes out with it, and now McNeely has it, trying to get it over, stolen away by Greenbrier East. Locko with the rebound. Three-minute mark here. First quarter. Huntington High, seven. Greenbrier East, two. Johnson slips a little bit, gets control of the basketball. Got it there by Brammer, who checked in during the timeout for this dead ball. Here's McNeely, drives in. Right side over to Hickman. Hickman, he'll take the three. It's good. Ten-two. Hickman with a rare three-pointer from the outside. Pressure broken. Foul line extended left for Griffith. His shot is no good. Rebound taken there by Johnson. Quickly up into the front court to Tubbs. Tubbs goes right side. No foul called, and the shot doesn't go in. Greenbrier East comes out with it. On the run, it will be Seams. Seams trying to find a seam to get in there. Puts up a Hail Mary shot off the front of the iron. No good. Johnson gets it out quickly in the outlet. Plast to McNeely. McNeely goes left side. Lays it in. No good. It's rejected out there by Seams. And the rebound put back by Tubbs is no good. And a foul is going to be on, I believe, McNeely for the slap. It's going to be his first team foul number three. Cole Withrow wearing number 15. So we just got that sent to us. Oh, that's right. He's up here wearing the. He changed numbers. He was originally number zero. He's actually number 15. And a foul is going to be called against McNeely. He's going to pick up two quick ones. That's number two on him. Team foul number four. We'll have a substitution coming up here in just a moment at the free throw line. It is Cole Withrow, the 6'1 junior. First shot, no good. Yedrick Graves will check in in the lineup. We're at number 23 for McNeely. Free throw up and away is good there for Withrow. Ten three, the score. Front court, here goes Johnson, lays it up, no good, and the rebound taken down there by Libby. Jude Libby for Greenbrier East. Gets it up the seams. Bounce pass tipped out by Tubbs. He'll go on the run with it. Tubbs, bounce pass right side over to Johnson. He'll jam it home. Mikey Johnson with his first bucket. 12-3. One thing Huntington High definitely has is the speed. Here's a shot going up. This will be before the shot. It's Aaron Griffith will get the try to take it, but the shot will be against, or the foul will be called against Gun uh, Gunnell Hickman. It's going to be his second. Team foul number five. Three-point shot, a little too strong. Weak side rebound taken down by Libby. He'll pull it back out, gets it over to Brammer. Back to Libby. He'll take the dribble in. Cut off there, he travels. Drag that pivot foot. And substitution coming in now. Malik Johnson will, or Malik Jackson will check into the lineup in for Hickman. 30-second timeout taken by Huntington High. We'll keep it right here. Give it to Jimmy Morgan Senior Classic. Huntington High on top by a score of 12-3. Some pretty exciting uh, slow start, but 
You talk about some speed. Tubbs on the run with it. Gets it up there to the front to Johnson. Took a step to his left and jammed it home. And Malik, or Mikey Johnson with his first field goal. Coming with a big old jam. Giving Huntington High that lead 12-3. to three. Good crowd of attendance here today. Checking out some great basketball here in the uh, Jimmy Morgan Senior Classic. Got some more to come after this with some middle school games. Here's a good look. Kicking over to Hickman over in the corner. Rare three-pointer for him, but hey, he's left all alone and drains it from the far corner. So like I said, it's a slow start for both teams. Huntington High starting to pick up some pace. Jumped out to a 7-2 lead. They're on top now, 12-3. All right, here we go. 60 seconds left to play in this first quarter out of the timeout. Tubbs gets it up into the front court, guarded up there by Brammer. Tubbs drives left side, and he got a foul. Called against uh, Bryson Brammer for reaching. That's going to be his first team foul, number one. Graves gets the ball in to Tubbs, right side. Now over in the corner to Locko. He'll drive into the baseline. Shot no good. Rebound tipped out from Makai Jackson. And last touch by Jackson. Actually, last touch by Greenbrier East. So Huntington High will maintain possession with Graves. We're at number 23. He'll be triggering the inbounds. Count is on. He's going to bounce it off. An area that kind of hurts a little bit to get hit in. It'll take your breath away. <laughs> Yeah, and we'll have a substitution coming up here after taking the uh, in for Griffith. Huffman will check into the lineup. Just going to catch his breath a little bit. <laughs> Graves trying to, he finally gets it in over to the far side, over to Jackson. Over to Johnson now. Johnson drives in. It goes off his leg out of bounds, and he is frustrated on that one. He knew he had a good opportunity. Just dribbled it right off his knee. 34 seconds left to play here in this first quarter. Huntington High on top, 12-3. Pressure broken by the Spartans. Huffman, right side over to Brammer. Three-point shot off the mark. Just cannot find the range here for Greenbrier East. Brammer chases down the rebound, gets it back over to the left side. Over to Seams, down low to the inside, trying to get it in there for Griffith, goes out of bounds. McQuell Davis will check back into the lineup. We're in number four. Gives Bryson Brammer a little breather. Ten seconds left. Tubbs brings it up front court, far side. Playing for the final shot here of the quarter. Between the leg dribble. Nice crossover. Goes in, near side. Locko drives the baseline, and he's going to draw a foul. One-tenth of a second left to play here in this quarter. The foul is going to be called against Monquel Davis. It's going to be his first, team foul number two, and that will put Gavin Locko at the free throw line. He'll be shooting two with .1 second, one-tenth of a second left to play here in this first quarter. Locko first shot up and away is good. He has three points, looking to make it four. Shot up and away is good. And that's going to be it for the first quarter. It's all Huntington High. They're on top by a score of 14 to 3 here on Kindred Digital Sports. Each of us carries an anchor, it can hold us back. But when we toss it forward into the future, something amazing happens. Our unique dreams built off hard work take shape. At Mount West, struggle does not mean defeat, and tough times will not divide us. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. Go far, close to home. Mount West Community and Technical College. Did you know, when you send or receive a text message, you take your eyes off the road for five seconds? At 55 miles an hour, that's like driving more than the length of a football field. Wow. 
blindfolded. As a result, thousands of people die every year in crashes related to distracted driving. That's why we're cracking down on people who text or use their smartphones while driving. We would rather you cross the goal line alive. Law enforcement officers write tickets to save lives. Don't text and drive. Welcome back, everybody. As we get ready for the second quarter, it is Huntington High on top of Greenbrier East by a score of 14-3 here in the Jim Morgan Senior Classic up at Huntington High. Leading score so far, four points. As a matter of fact, five points from Malik uh, McNeely, uh, four points for Gavin Locko. Here's Graves with it, gets it up on the top of the key to White. It's stolen away. Coming out with it, it is Huffman. Huffman takes the dribble, gets it over to Griffith wearing number 10. Top of the key over to Seams. He's in number three. Griffith left side, goes up with a shot. He'll draw the foul. He'll get two shots. That'll go against Makai Jackson. It's going to be his first. Team foul number six. Bonus rest of the way for the Spartans. Aaron Griffith at the free throw line, the 6'2 senior. Shooting two, first shot is good. Boy, he hit every part of that, didn't he? Second shot up and away is good. This one, a little more true. 14-5, seven and a half minutes left to play here in this first half. White with it. Murray number 12. Just got done playing the, the JV game as well. Graves drives in, kicks it over to the right side to Tubbs. Tubbs into the lane, right over to the corner, working it around the perimeter, tipped out, stolen away. Coming out with it is Griffith. Griffith has his pocket pick, but it's saved there by Greenbrier East. Turning around with it is Patton. Shot no good. Huffman with the rebound. Back over to Gabert. He'll drive in. Shot no good, but he does draw the foul. That's going to get Makai Jackson. It's going to be his second. Team foul number seven. Shooting two at the line. It'll be Goose Gaber. Six foot junior. First shot up and away is good. Unquell Davis checks back in. <laughs> Second shot up and away is good for Goose Gabbert. Right side shot no good there by Jackson uh, Johnson. He thought about doing a jam, but then trying to bank it off the backboard is not not good. Front court, stole the Tubbs with a nice move for him. Goes up strong with it, shot no good. Gets the rebound, put back no good. And Gabert comes out with it. Gabert got it up and then no good, but now the rebound taken down there by Jackson. We have a foul against Greenbrier East. It's going to go against Monquel Davis. It's going to be his second. Team foul number two. Mon Montez Tubbs, the 5'11 junior. Got a foul, going to go against Zach Patton. That's going to be his first, team foul number four. Davis will check out. Brammer will check in, wearing number 30 for Greenbrier East. Up top of the key to Locko. Cut off there. We have a charge called against Locko for lowering the shoulder. Great sportsmanship. He helps up. Gabbert up off the, the court. That's going to be against Locko. It's going to be his first. Team foul number, number eight. Mikey Johnson checks back in in the lineup. We're in number two.
Gabbard with it, drives in. Geitz lifts it over to the left side. The same shot, no good. Rebound taken down by Huntington High. Johnson to Jackson. He'll lay it up as good. Makai Jackson with his first bucket of the ball game. 16-7. Brammer works it around. The seams. Seams has it picked out by Locko. Locko on the run with it. One against one. Locko goes up. Shot no good, but he does draw the foul. It's against Adam Seams. Going to be his first. Team foul number five. Locko on the run with it, had an opportunity here. He knew he needed to draw the foul and get the shot, and Seams got him across the arm there. So Locko will go to the free throw line, shooting two. First shot up is good. Okay, he missed the first one there. I thought he made it. <laughs> 17-7. Here seems with it. Rebound tipped out. Last touch by Greenbrier East. And a timeout taken by the Spartans. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. 5.07 left to play. It's a 10-point ball game for Huntington High. Greenbrier East is slowly trying to get things going. Only have three points at the end of the first quarter. Then a little better in the second quarter, but... Not enough here right now. You see on the run between Jackson and Johnson, and nice little fingertip roll in right there for Makai Jackson getting his first bucket of the ball game. Head coach Jared Patton, first year as the head coach of the Greenbrier East Spartans. He given his final instruction to his team, sent him back out on the court after burning the 30-second timeout. Coach Ty Holmes breaking the huddle with his team. Coaches are wearing those all gold shirts. Jackson with the ball over to Johnson on the right side. He's going to get trapped at the midcourt stripe. Finds it over to Jackson. To Locko left all alone. He'll take the three. It's good. Gavin Locko with his first three pointer. It's a 20 to 7 ball game. Greenbrier East trying to find some way to get some offense rolling here inside. Nice fingertip roll that time by Griffith. It's no good. Rebound tipped out, controlled by Huntington High. Graves actually checked that with it as White. Johnson puts it back up. A little too strong. Weak side rebound taken there by Griffith. And he dribbles it on the backcourt on the uh, timeline. Goes backcourt, turns the ball back over to Huntington High. Gabbert was just right there, <laughs> kind of teetering the line, but last little dribble just caught it there. 4-14 left to play at a rolling clock first half. There goes Graves with it, gets it back over to the right side to Makai Jackson and tipped out and stole the way. Good job defensively by Gabbert. And traveling, turned the ball back over. Frustration right there for head coach Jared Patton. In the opportunity, Isaiah Brooks will check in, the 5'10 senior. He will give uh, Bryson Brammer a break. Isaiah Brooks wearing number one. Got those light red, almost orange type shoes that you see him with over on the right side of your screen. He gets the honor of trying to guard Tubbs. Tubbs going to dribble out, gets it over to the right side to Locko. Locko top of the key to Johnson. He'll drive into the paint, kicks it left side. Here goes Graves, his shot no good. Locko took like he took a shot to the face, but he bounces back up, goes out of bounds, turns the ball back over to Greenbrier East. Like him and uh, his teammate, the Edric Graves, got together going for that rebound. He took a shot there to the nose, but tough kid. He bounced right back up. Right side, drive in, shot lays it in. is good for Zach Patton, his first field goal. 
First point, as a matter of fact, <laughs> first point since the early part of this first quarter, or the second quarter. Tubbs. Right side over to Graves, back to Tubbs. Waiting for a shot. Here near side over to Mankin, who checked in during the dead ball. Tipped out, sold on the way. Another steal this time for Griffith. He'll bring it up into the front court. Griffith goes left side, lays it in with that left hand. 20 to 11. Down to single digits now. It's a nine point lead for Huntington High. Greenbrier East forcing a couple of turnovers on the Highlanders. Johnson to Mankin. The count on gets it up to Tubbs. Get things reset on that zone defense for Greenbrier East. Shot will bounce from Mankin over the backboard and turn back over to Greenbrier East. Hickman will check into the lineup. He will give Laco a little breather. Goodell Hickman, wearing number 15. He's got a three-pointer here in this ballgame so far. Gabbert with the ball. Top of the key over to Brooks. To Griffith. Back over to Patton now. Patton will drive in, tipped out. Quick hands once again for Tubbs, and here comes the jam, and there it is for Mikey Johnson. Speed and the quick hands and the quick feet for Tubbs. Three-point shot's going to go short. Rebound taken down by Graves. Gets it up to Tubbs, front court. Tubbs drives in, cut off there, and now we'll get it back up on the top of the key. Resets it, right side over to Johnson. He'll drive in. He thought we were going to get a nice little jam. The foul's going to be called against Isaiah Brooks. going to be his first. On the run all by himself. Two-hand jam for Mikey Johnson. Foul's called against uh, Seams. going to be his first. Team foul number six. Thought it was going to be a one-and-one, one, but... Ninety-three seconds left to play here in this first half. Here goes Tubbs. He'll take the three. Tip out of bounds, and it'll be controlled by Huntington High. Now to Johnson. Johnson with a nice move cut off there by Griffith to Mankin. Taking the dribble over to the Tubbs. Back over to Johnson once again. Mikey gives it up over to Montez and waiting for the shot. Here's Montez just inside the three-point line. No good. He goes out of bounds. Last touched by Huntington High. Under a minute left to play here in the first half. 22-11 our score. Quickly up into the front court. Griffith all by himself, right wing. He'll take the three. It's good. Yeah. 22-14. 39 seconds. See if Huntington High plays for the final shot here in the quarter. Johnson over to Graves. Near side to Mankin, where number 24. Trying to come near side to Tubbs. Tipped out, but Tubbs is there to get it. Gets it down low to Johnson, and it goes out of bounds. Turns the ball back over to Greenbrier East. Chance for the Spartans now to cut deeper into this lead before they go into the halftime break. Left side, Huffman hands it off over there to Patton. He'll take the dribble up, top of the key. To Gabbert, he'll take the three-point shot off the front of the iron. No good, but the rebound taken down there by Patton. Thinks about the three. Goes right side to Griffith. Drives in. Goes up with a shot and doesn't get it, but he does draw the foul. That will be against Mikey Johnson. His first, team foul number nine. Griffith at the strike. First shot up and away is good. Perfect so far. Three of three from the strike. 
With 4.4 seconds left here in this first half. Second shot, no good. And lane violation. They're going to say that uh, Griffith had his foot on the line when he did the shot. All right, here goes Graves, front court, two seconds, one second. Graves, quarter court, shot is no good. Well, the Spartans made a good run at it here in this second quarter. Cut into the lead. It's 22-15. Halftime coming up here as Huntington High is on top of the Spartans of Greenbrier East here on Kindred Digital Sports. An injury at any age can be a game changer, but with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, my name is Connor Pritchard, and this is my story. In sixth grade, a teacher had asked me if I would be interested in doing the announcements. I ended up going to the office every day for about two weeks, taught me the ropes, showed me around. I know it's definitely helped with my improvisation skills, so if I need to get something on the fly or throw something into a conversation, I can integrate it a lot better. I really love doing the announcements here. It's one of my favorite things to do here in Milton Middle. It's always nice just to know that I can add a little bit of positivity. To share your story, visit CabellSchools.com. The Marshall Orthopedics High School Basketball Showcase, presented by the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute, is brought to you in part by Jason W. Elkins at Elkins State Farm Agency. Jason can help you find coverage that works for you. Jason W. Elkins State Farm Agent, 4346 Fifth Street Road, Huntington. The Governor's Highway Safety Program, Griffith and File Pharmacy in Canova, serving the area since 1892. For quick, friendly, personal service with shorter wait times, come to Griffith and File and Kindred Communications, kindredcom.net. What started as the Parmar Oil Company in 1967 has grown into 116 convenience stores in four states. Parmar convenience stores offer monthly product specials and grab-and-go items. Located just down the street from where you live, Parmar stores are all about being your above-par convenience store. If you don't have a Parmar store near you now, you will soon. Parmar convenience stores, neighbors serving your community and making life a little bit easier every day. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But Marshall Orthopedics, the area's only comprehensive sports medicine practice, is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Orthopedics takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Create your stories like to leave a legend where the kids will be talking about me like 50 years after I'm gone. And like then they will start writing their own stories. Maybe my kids will want to read about what I was dealing with, what I was going through, how I encouraged myself, how my teachers encouraged me. So if I leave something for them, then it's just gonna keep going, you know, and it'll be a story that never ends. So it's the never ending story. See, we know our strengths at Dutch Miller Kia. We're good at car sales, we're good at service, and giving friends and family pricing to everyone. You should never come to us to do your hair. Great deals on Kia? Yes. Hair? Not so much. For a limited time, get a 2022 Sorento SUV starting at just $2.99 a month. Of all the things that we're known for at Dutch Miller Kia, hair is not one of them, and it shouldn't be. To be honest, I, I kind of like mine. Did you know when you send or receive a text message, you take your eyes off the road for five seconds? At 55 miles per hour, that's like driving more than the length of a football field blindfolded. As a result, thousands of people die every year in crashes related to distracted driving. That's why we're cracking down on people who text or use their smartphones while driving. We would rather you cross the goal line alive. Law enforcement officers write tickets to save lives. Don't text and drive. It's the New Year's sales event going on right now at Dutch Miller Hyundai. For a limited time, during the New Year's sales event, make no payments till spring. While the other dealers keep raising prices, Dutch Miller Hyundai is offering brand new Elantras starting at just $169 a month. And be sure to ask about $500 off and 0% financing for up to 60 months on select new Hyundais. Only at the New Year's sales event happening right now. Text or chat now at DutchMillerHyundai.com. Welcome back, everybody, as we are here with you at uh, Huntington High here this uh, this afternoon as Huntington High hosts the Greenbrier East Spartans. Jason Toy here with you. Butch Mounts, our producer, 
And uh, I was correct earlier on free throws for Locko. He is now 4-4. Four four. So uh, one of the points got left off the scoreboard. So we are 23-15 is our score now with uh, Huntington High on uh, on top of Greenbrier East. So here's how we look so far scoring-wise. For the Spartans, it's Aaron Griffith with 10 points, most of which coming in the second quarter. He a uh, three-pointer and a field goal, and he's also three of four from the free throw line. And then after that, kind of spread out a little bit with two points for Goose uh, Gabbert and uh, also two, Zach Patton with two points, one point for Cole Withrow from the free throw strike. For Huntington High, they are paced by the nine points for Gavin Locko. Locko perfect from the stripe, four of four here today. And then also two as it is uh, nine points for Locko, three points for Gunnell Hickman, also five points for Malik McNeely, four points for Mikey Johnson, and Makai Jackson with two points for him as well as Huntington High is on top 23-15 here in the Jimmy Morgan Senior Classic here this afternoon at Huntington High. And, of course, we've got uh, more basketball here later on. If you're coming up, you can check out a couple of middle school games right after this one. Also, too, if you're at home watching us, you can check in with our video productions crew. We're going to be back uh, with you again from just down the road at Huntington St. Joe. As St. Joe will be playing host of the Cabell Midland Knights, so we'll have that for you coming up a little bit later on this evening with about 7.30 tip-off set for that game. So far in this one, slow start for Greenbrier East. Matter of fact, it was 14-3 at the end of the break, but then they had a pretty good um, second half here with a 10-point run for Greenbrier East. And then, um, I'll take that back, a 12-point run in that uh, first part of the ball game. And then 23 points in the second, 23 points total here for Huntington High. Greenbrier East outscored them 12 to 9. So pretty good turnaround in that second quarter for the Spartans, and by far not out of this ball game yet. So both play, both teams playing some pretty good basketball right now. We're gonna take a break. We'll come back. We'll get ready for second half action. Huntington High, Greenbrier East here in the Jimmy Morgan Senior Classic. It is the Highlanders 23, and Greenbrier East 15. We're back after this break here on Kindred Digital Sports. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Planning for a funeral is never easy, and selecting the right mortuary can be important. Family owned and operated for over six decades, our family has helped other families going through the most difficult time. Chapman's Mortuary and Crematory can help you plan arrangements today or offer a pre-need funeral plan in line with your intimate wishes. And now we provide Huntington's only on-site crematory. Call us for a free consultation. Chapman's Mortuary and Crematory, serving the Tri-State for over 60 years. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But Marshall Orthopedics, the area's only comprehensive sports medicine practice, is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Orthopedics takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. What started as the Parmar Oil Company in 1967 has grown into 116 convenience stores in four states. Parmar convenience stores offer monthly product specials and grab-and-go items. Located just down the street from where you live, Parmar stores are all about being your above par convenience store. If you don't have a Parmar store near you now, you will soon. Parmar convenience stores, neighbors serving your community and making life a little bit easier every day. Hello, my name is Seth Seldron. I'm here in my home studio where I write, record, produce, mix and master all my own music, as well as write, record and edit all kinds of videos. Making my own music and making videos allows me a certain creative outlet that I wouldn't otherwise have. And one day I hope to sort of combine the two, maybe create my own music videos, direct them, edit them, as well as produce music for myself and other people. Welcome back, everybody. Halftime, getting ready to wrap up here at Huntington High School as the Highlanders on top of Greenbrier East by a score of 23 to 15. Again, leading scorers so far, it's Gavin Locko. For the night at nine points, five points from Malik McNeely. Uh, four points from Mikey Johnson. Makai Jackson with two points. And uh, Gunnell Hickman with three points. Taking a look at some of the fouling. Uh, two fouls for Jackson. And then two fouls for McNeely. And two fouls for Hickman. So 
That's where they stand as we get ready to start things off here in this third quarter. Two fouls for Monquel Davis. He's a junior coming up off the bench. But other than that, for Greenbrier East, a handful of players, including Brooks, Patton, Seams, all, and uh, Brammer, all with one foul apiece. All right, final couple of seconds on the clock here. Warm-up's completed as we get ready to roll here in this second half. They're in this Jimmy Morgan Senior Classic here today to honor the great legacy of the, the great Jimmy Morgan Senior, who such a big, integral part of athletics here across Cabell County for many years, Marshall University as well, and coaching and scorebook keeping and everything else. And uh, that legacy carried on by his son, Jimmy Morgan Jr., who, matter of fact, just a couple of spots down here to our right is taking care of the scoreboard and the uh, clock here this afternoon here at uh, Huntington High School tonight. So we're getting ready for second half action. Greenbrier East will be going from right to left in those black uniforms. Huntington High in the white uniforms. And it will be. Gabbert gets it in. Up to Patton on the near side wing. Gabbert on the near side. Posted up there against Tubbs. Left wing. Huffman three-point shot. Ten and out. No good. Rebound controlled by Greenbrier East. Here's Seams with it. Working around the perimeter, left wing, three-point shot taken this time by Gabert is good. Gabbert. His first field goal. Down to a five-point ball game. Hickman near side over to Johnson. Around the perimeter, left side to McNeely. Gets it over to Locko. Three-point shot, no good. Rebound controlled by Locko. Gets it in the Johnson. He'll go up with a shot, lays it in. Good. Mikey Johnson will go to the free throw line. Trying to complete the three-point play. Foul against Zach Patton. It's going to be his second. Team foul number one. Johnson at the strike. No good, and the rebound taken down there by Seams. Near side, over to Griffith. He'll take the jumper left side. It's in and out, no good. McNeely with the rebound on the run. McNeely goes over to his left, gets it over to Locko. Back to McNeely, drives it in the lane, lays it up in, is good. Malik McNeely. 27-18. Back over to the far side. Tubbs is there to get it on the weak side to keep it in play. Down inside, stolen away there by Seams. Seams bounce pass to his right, gets it over to Patton. He lays it up in, is good. Zach Patton with the field goal, 27-20. After a slow start to the first quarter with very low scoring, we've had quite a bit of scoring here in the first two minutes, approaching two minutes here this third quarter. Zone defense by Greenbrier East. Inside over to Johnson, and it pays off. They come out with the steal. I believe that was Griffith got a hand on it up in the front court. It seems. Seems with it. Quarter court. Back up top of the key to Patton, working around to Huffman. Top of the key. Gabbert. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Greenbrier East. Adam Seams patting his uh, chest saying, that's on me. Huntington high with the basketball. Tubbs brings it up front court. Zone defense set up by the Spartans with five and a half minutes left to play third quarter. Inside over to Johnson. He takes the drive in, lays it in as good. Mikey Johnson had 19 points in the win against Hurricane, starting to come alive here against Greenbrier East. Front court. Huffman on the corner. Over to the far corner. Gets it over to Patton. Patton drives in. Nothing there. Near side seam, and they're going to get him for a travel. Turns the ball over. A couple of costly turnovers now for the Spartans. Huffman. 
Huntington High with the ball with 5.03 left to play. 29-20 to nine-point advantage for the Highlanders. Levin was the biggest lead they had earlier. See if they can top that. Hickman with it out in the perimeter. Right side to McNeely. Spins around. Guarded there by Griffith. Gets it over to Locko. Back to McNeely in the corner. Good job defensively by Griffith. It's going to pay off. Griffith's going to get a hand on it, but he goes out of bounds. Gets it in the Locko on the baseline. Goes up with a shot, and no good, but he does draw the foul. But that was called against Coos Gabbert, and that's going to be his first team foul number two. Locko at the free throw line. He's been perfect 4-4 four, four from the stripe so far here this afternoon. And he missed it. Second shot is good for Locko. 30-20, 10-point lead. Full court pressure by the Highlanders. Greenbrier East does pretty good work with it with Huffman. Spins around, has a pocket pick. Tipped out by Johnson. Coming out with it is Tubbs. Tubbs loses it out of bounds. Last touch by the Spartans. Be Locko, they'll trigger the inbound at the baseline on the right side of your screen. Johnson, nice move inside, hangs in there in the paint. She can't get this bucket to go. Rebound taken down there by Patton on the run. Right side seam. He'll drive right down the middle of the line. And it's no good, but he does draw the foul. It's against McNeely. See the great move here by Seam, trying to get the open line and put the shot up there, but he'll go to the free throw line. That's number three against McNeely. Team foul number one. Free throw up and away is good for Seams. His first points. Seams second shot, no good. Rebound controlled by McNeely. Neely on the run, behind the back dribble, goes into the paint, and reverse, lays up, and no good. Hickman there for the rebound and the putback on the left side. Patton drives in, shot too strong. Hickman with the rebound, gets it up to Tubbs. Tubbs on the run, dribbles in, gets it up to McNeely, has his pocket picked by Griffith, goes out of bounds. Substitution coming out. Monquel Davis will check back into the lineup in for and for Gabbert. Get up, get up. Pass out to Mikey Johnson. Get up on that. Clock didn't start running, so they're going to reset the clock. Three thirty now on the clock. All right, thirty-two twenty-one. Huntington High with the lead. Locko with the ball on the perimeter gets it inside to Hickman. He'll lay it up in. It's good. Hickman now with seven points. Thirty-four twenty-one. Patton front court to Griffith. Up to Davis now on the bounce pass to the right side over to Seam. No look pass out of the inside. Great look that time for Seam. Gets it in there to Huffman. He lays it in good. Give the assist right there to Seam on that one. Tubbs, front court. Hands it over to Lockow. 
He drives in, foul line extended left jumper, shot no good. Rebound tipped around. Hickman gets a hand on it, and we got a foul on the floor called against Greenbrier East. Caden okay, Huffman, it's his first. Team foul number three. Goose Gabbert checks into the lineup. Official stop play for a moment. I think got a little bit of blood on Tubbs' arm. That'll be a substitution coming in now, DeAndre Graves. Tubbs will go out and get the blood cleaned up. Graves comes in. Locko inbounds, gets it up on the top of the key over to Johnson. Here's McNeely. Jumper, shot good. 36, 23, 220 left to play in this third quarter. Davis out almost all the way to the timeline there. Get the offense set up. Seam in the corner, three-point shot off the rim. The backboard no good. Lock over the rebound. Uncontested on the rebound. Gets it up to Johnson. Dribbles through to Locko. Hands it off to Hickman. He'll drive the baseline. Goes in with the shot on the reverse. No good. Locko smacks the ball out of bounds. And it'll be Greenbrier East basketball. Jude Libby will check into the lineup. In for Caden Huffman. So Greenbrier East will get the basketball. Black uniforms tonight, white uniforms for Huntington High. Griffith almost has it stolen away. Davis gets it over to the right side. Here's the three-point shot taken by Libby. It's no good. The rebound by Hickman goes in the hands of Griffith, and a foul is going to be called against Huntington High, and that's going to be against Mikey Johnson. It's going to be his second. Team foul number two. Aaron Griffith at the free throw line. First shot up and away is good. Second shot, no good. Rebound there, taken back down and the put back in by Libby, Jude Libby. Eleven-point lead for the Highlanders. Minute twenty-four and a rolling clock. Here's Johnson with the ball to McNeely. McNeely drives right side, goes up, scoop shot, lays in, good. It's his third field goal here in this second half. Davis left wing all alone, three-point shot, good. Timeout taken by the Spartans. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Ten-point ball game. Actually, a nine-point ball game. And a big three-pointer for Davis coming up off the bench. Thirty-eight, twenty-nine. You see the move here by McNeely. Great Scott shot in the scoop going up in and laying it in. Him and... Uh, Johnson got some real quick explosions coming off the when they have the ball on the dribble. Nice rebound in the position this time there for Jude Libby for Greenbrier East, wearing number 23. He was able to get the rebound and the put back then for his first points of this ball game off the bench. The nine-point lead for Huntington High. Greenbrier East trying to keep it interesting. One minute left to play in this third quarter. Mikey Johnson front court with it. Taking the dribble, and he travels. Dragged his feet, and the trap worked. Defensively with Davis and Gabbert up there, forcing the turnover. Gabbert with the basketball. Gets it up the seam. Bounce pass over to Davis, cut off there by Locko, and nice no-look pass in there to Griffith. 
He lays it in good. 38-31. Greenbrier East down by seven. Hickman with it at quarter court. Takes the dribble. Drives in. Goes up with the shot and lays it in good. That'll Hickman now with three field goals in this third quarter. 40-31. Seam with it. Drives in, and it goes out of bounds. Last touched off the leg of Locko. 18.5 seconds left to play in this third quarter. Nice no-look pass down on the inside. Give the assist out there to Davis. There goes Patton. Uh, Gabert, uh, Gabbert driving in. He's going to go to the free throw line with 13 and a half seconds left. Deidre Graves going to be his first. Team foul number three. Goose Gabbard at the free throw line. He's got uh, five points so far here. First shot up and away is good. Forty thirty-two. Got another quarter to go here, folks. Everybody's hanging strong, and shot hangs there, no good. Rebound taken down there by Locko. Quickly, quarterback pass for the quarterback for the football team. Goes out of bounds too far in front of Hickman. And he'll give the ball back over to the Spartans. They can play for the final shot. 7.8 seconds left. Front court with it, it seems. Seems near side. Guarded there by Patton. Goes in with the shot. A little running jumper as time expires is good. Goose Gabert in there, lays it in. And we've got ourselves a ball game, folks. 40-34. It's a six-point ball game. Huntington High on top. We'll go to the fourth quarter next right here on Kidred Digital Sports. Injury at any age can be a game changer. But Marshall Orthopedics, the area's only comprehensive sports medicine practice, is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Orthopedics takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. The, the need to try to be like somebody else or try to like one up somebody else. Um, you know, in my generation, it was keeping up with the Joneses. Um, and I think that can be distracting. Um, but I think that students, kind of like you were talking about earlier, I think that creating your story, that you, every person's unique. So like if you can tune out those other things, like there's room for you to be you and for you to do your thing. And it all fits together like a puzzle. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Welcome back, everybody. We go to the fourth quarter. Fresh eight minutes up on the clock here in regulation. It's Huntington High 40, Greenbrier East 34. And a tip of the cap to the Spartans. They have been battling back in this one. Got themselves in a good opportunity, only trailing by six here in this fourth quarter. Tubbs gets it over to McNeely. He drives in, shot no good. Hickman gets the rebound. He goes down to the court, loses the ball. This Davis coming out with it. He's against the numbers, so he's trying to dribble out of it now, and we've got a foul going to be called against Huntington High. It's going to be against Malik McNeely. It's number four on him, team foul number four. Seam gets it in on the bounce pass to Gabbert. Gabbert drives in, left side, lays it up in. No good, a little too strong. Johnson there for the rebound. Johnson on the run. Tipped out, settled away by Davis. He'll bring it back up into the front court. Another turnover by Huntington High. Right side. Three-point shot. Good by Griffith. 40-37. It's a three-point ball game. Quarterback pass. Quick down low inside. Locko gets it to Hickman, back over to Tubbs. Left side over to McNeely. McNeely with those four fouls. Johnson, out in the perimeter, has to pull up on his dribble to Locko. He gets trapped. Tight defense by the Spartans. Forcing Huntington High to pull it back out to reset. Johnson with it. Gets pressure there from Seam. Drives in, left side, goes up with the shot, gets the bucket and the foul. Johnson. 
Foul's called against Aaron Griffith. Going to be his first. Team foul number four. That's going to put McNeely at the free, actually Johnson at the free throw line. Trying to complete the three-point play. Free throws up and good. 43-37, six-point ball game. 6.30 left to play on a rolling clock in regulation. Right side, Davis with it. Still in the backcourt, gets the bounce pass in the front court to Gate, the Gabbert. Left side, three-point shot in and out there by Libby. Rebound taken there by Johnson. Johnson wearing number two. The left side of your screen right there. Coach Ty Holmes sets up the offense for the Highlanders. Takes the dribble. Pulled up there on the guarded there by Jude. Tubbs back over to Johnson once again. That man-to-man -man defense now by Spartans. Nice move this time by Johnson. He lays it up on the left side. Talk about some speed on him. He's got him. 45-37. Gabbert brings it up in the front court. Gets it into Griffith. Griffith loses it. It's on the court. And... And pulled out there by Greenbrier East. Good job by Libby. Gets it over. And a timeout taken by Adam Seams gets the bucket. That's his first field goal of the evening. It's a 32nd timeout. We'll keep it right here by Greenbrier East. 45-39. It's a full, full timeout, so we'll take one ourselves. 45-39 our score. It's Huntington High on top here on Kindred Digital Sports. A new day begins, and what happens today must be covered, reported, and passed on to everyone in the region we serve. We are journalists, staff writers, editors, storytellers. Who are we? We are HD Media, trustworthy and always here for the times we live in. Each of us carries an anchor. It can hold us back, but when we toss it forward into the future, something amazing happens. Our unique dreams built off hard work take shape. At Mount West, struggle does not mean defeat, and tough times will not divide us. So what are you waiting for? Enroll today. Go far, close to home. Mount West Community and Technical College. Out of the timeout, Huntington High with the basketball, 45-39. They have a six-point lead, and it's Johnson with it. He'll drive into the paint, and he'll lay it up on the fingertips. 47-39. Left the open lane for him. He took advantage of it. Not sure that was the play they wanted to run. When you got a lane like that, take it. Davis quickly up into the front court to Gabbert. Works it around to Griffith. Near side to Huffman. He'll drive into the paint and has it knocked out there. Coming out with it, it will be Tubbs. Tubbs on the left side. He'll lay it in good. That's his first field goal of the ball game for Tubbs, 49-39. And a technical foul is going to be called against Greenbrier East and the coaching staff. So that's going to put Johnson up on the free throw line, shooting two. This shot. Here's a second shot for the left-handed shooter, and it's no good. Greenbrier East, or Huntington High, will maintain possession. It'll be McNeely at the midcourt stripe. Goes backcourt over to Johnson. Ten-point ball game. Johnson guarded out there by Seam. Good job defensively by Seams. Over to Locko. Down inside to McNeely. Turn around on the foul line. He's to the right. He's good. 
51-39. 4-10 left. Right side. The Davis front court guarded there by Tubbs behind the back dribble. Has to pull up on his dribble. Goes bounce pass inside to Huffman. He'll go up the shot and Hickman knocks him down to the ground. That's going to be Hickman's third. Team foul number five. Nice move for Huffman in there and Hickman just laid him out. All right, second shot here by Huffman. Left-handed shooter, second shot rings in and out, no good. McGeely with the rebound. Tubbs thought about running with a little bit here, looked up the clock, saw 353, continues to roll, 51-39 to score. Johnson with it on the right side, cut off there by Griffith. Kicks it over to Locko, three-point shot for Locko, too strong. Hickman knocks the rebound into the hands of Patton. Front court with it, it seems. Left side, Huffman, he goes up with a shot, no good. And the rebound with Huffman going for it. We're going to have a foul called against Locko. Number two on him, team foul number six. Timeout taken by Huntington High, a full timeout. Take it with them, 51-39 to score. Just about three and a half minutes left to play in regulation here on Kindred Digital Sports. The Marshall Orthopedics High School Basketball Showcase, presented by the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute, is brought to you in part by Jason W. Elkins at Elkins State Farm Agency. Jason can help you find coverage that works for you. Jason W. Elkins State Farm Agent, 4346 5th Street Road, Huntington. The Governor's Highway Safety Program, Griffith and File Pharmacy in Canova, serving the area since 1892. For quick, friendly, personal service with shorter wait times, come to Griffith and File and Kendrick Communications, kendrickcom.net. My name is Deshaun and I am a success. My name is Braxton and I'm a success. Friday, I got my spelling words right. P-A-R-T-Y. I was at a math test and I really didn't really like get it that well. My teacher, she's, she told me something and I got it. And I aced, I aced the, the math test and I was excited. To share your story, visit cabalschools.com. Song's offensive, by the way. All right, here goes Seams. Gets it up top of the key to Griffith. To Davis, three and a half minutes left to play in regulation. Griffith taking the dribble, working behind the pick. Cut off there by Locko, has to pull up on his dribble. To Seams, back to Davis once again. Davis drives in, we're going to have a foul called against Locko. It's going to be his third, team foul number seven. Be shooting one and one. Monquel Davis has a three-pointer so far here in this, looking to add point number four. First shot up and away is good. Going to cut it back down to ten if he can connect on the free throw. Second shot, no good. Huffman battling with the rebound there with McNeely. Gets it up to Johnson. Mikey Johnson with it in the far corner. Getting trapped inside the Hickman. Gives a go to McNeely. Nice reverse, no good. Rebound taken down by Huffman. Gets it up to Seams. Seams does a good job and keeps control of the basketball. Right wing. Over to Gabbard. Right side, Davis drives in. He's going to pick up the charge. Going to be his third, team foul number five. Seeing the move here by Davis out in the perimeter, going in and taking the charge down on the inside. I believe that's McNeely that took the charge. That's brave for McNeely. He's playing with four fouls. Johnson with the ball. 
Griffith there on pressure. Left side to McNeely. He'll lay it up in as good. Fifty-three forty. Left wing seems three-point shot too strong. Lock up with a one-handed rebound. Up to Tubbs. He wants to run with it. Front court has the numbers. Go in. Nice scoop shot. Lays it in good for Montez Tubbs. Huntington High starting to pull out a little bit on this one. Lead back out to 15, 55, 40. Approaching the two-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Gabbert shot no good. Locko with another rebound underneath. The Tubbs on the run again. Tubbs one against two, kicks it over to the near side. Hickman will take the three, too strong. Weak side rebound taken there by Gabbert. Excuse me, Gabbert brings it out. The seams, Griffith three-point shot in the corner. No good. Takes two bounces. Nice one-handed put back there by Adam Seams. 55-42, Hickman underneath. Lays it in, it's good. Davis front court. Takes a step to his left, pops up with the shot. Off the front of the rim, the backboard no good. Johnson wants to run with it. Goes left side over to Tubbs. He'll take the three, it's good. 60-42 and Huntington High is quickly jumping the, the lead out on this one. 7-2 run here in the last minute or so. The minute left. Huntington High on the way to their victory. Seams gets it over. Nice no look pass that time to Griffith. He lays it in good. 48 seconds left. Johnson gets it across the timeline with Tubbs and McNeely. Back over to Johnson. Letting that clock roll with 39 seconds left. Started there by Huffman. Finds the open lane. He'll jam it home with the one hand. 62-44. 27 seconds left. Huffman front court. Gets it over to Seams. Right side. Griffith three-point shot. No good. Locko with the rebound. Gets it out to Johnson. Coach Ty Holmes tells him to hold it out. Let's kill the clock. 10 seconds left. 62-44. Greenbrier East made it tight. Huntington High was able to hold on and come away with the victory, 62-44. The Highland has improved to 9-5 on the season. Greenbrier East drops to 6-7. We'll recap it all and put the wraps on it here this afternoon from Huntington High once again our final score. The Highlander 62 and the Spartans 44. We're back after this break here on Kindred Digital Sports. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Planning for a funeral is never easy, and selecting the right mortuary can be important. Family owned and operated for over six decades, our family has helped other families going through the most difficult time. Chapman's Mortuary and Crematory can help you plan arrangements today or offer a pre-need funeral plan in line with your intimate wishes. And now we provide Huntington's only on-site crematory. Call us for a free consultation. Chapman's Mortuary and Crematory, serving the Tri-State for over 60 years. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But Marshall Orthopedics, the area's only comprehensive sports medicine practice, is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Orthopedics takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. What started as the Parmar Oil Company in 1967 has grown into 116 convenience stores in four states. Parmar convenience stores offer monthly product specials and grab-and-go items. Located just down the street from where you live, Parmar stores are all about being your above-par convenience store. If you don't have a Parmar store near you now, you will soon. Parmar convenience stores, neighbors serving your community and making life a little bit easier every day. Hello, my name is Seth Seldron. I'm here in my home studio where I write, record, produce, mix, and master all my own music, as well as write, record, and edit all kinds of videos. Making my own music and making videos allows me a certain creative outlet that I wouldn't otherwise have. And one day I hope to sort of combine the two 
maybe create my own music videos, direct them, edit them, as well as produce music for myself and other people. 62-44, our final score here to this afternoon as Huntington High comes away with the victory. They are 9-5 and five on the season. Greenbrier East drops to 6-7. and seven. Here's a look at the unofficial scoring here uh, this afternoon. For Greenbrier East, they were paced by Aaron Griffith with 18 total points here on the night. Eight points for Goose uh, Gabbert. Five points for Adam Seams. Two points, or four points apiece for Monquel Davis as well as Zach Patton. Two points apiece for Caden Huffman and Jude Libby. And a point for Cole Withrow. For Huntington High, four players double digits and scoring unofficially. 17 points for Mikey Johnson. 15 points tonight for Malik McNeely. 10 points for Gavin Locko. Gunnell Hickman, or Gunnell Hickman with 11 points. He had four field goals in the second half plus a three-pointer in the first half with 11 points for him on the evening. Seven points for Montez Tubbs, all of which coming in the second half. And two points for Makai Jackson here for the senior. Huntington High improving with the victory, like we said, and they will get ready to take on Huntington St. Joe coming up next week right here at the uh, at Huntington High. We'll be here for that game. It's a 6 p.m. tip-off. They've moved the tip-off time. It's up to 6 p.m. coming up next Tuesday evening. So looking forward to bringing that for you here on Kinder Digital Sports. Greenbrier East. Try to get regrouped. They head home. They'll take on Oak Hill coming up on Tuesday night. For Butch Mounts, our producer, I'm Jason Toy, thanking you for joining us once again here on Kinder Digital Sports presentation with Huntington High basketball as the Highlanders come away with the victory 62-44. For those of you checking in with us here on our video productions crew, make sure you join us coming up 7.30. We'll be with you from Huntington St. Joe as St. Joe takes on Cabell Midland. Until then, folks, have a pleasant evening. We'll talk to you soon. Good night, everybody.